Hello there. So, this is a pixel pastiche. And I'm about to play some Jupiter Hell. I just found this game not too long ago, downloaded it, played it, because I was I was doing some reading up on game design, as I am wont to do occasionally, and the concept of roguelike versus rogue light. R-O-G-U-E-L-I-K-E versus L-I-T-E came up. And people were, I, I might make a video on that one a little bit later, but these rogue, this is a rogue-like, meaning it is like the old computer game Rogue. It has a very certain design decisions, it plays a certain way, and one of the most important things about the way it plays is that it is entirely controlled by the keyboard. And for me, play, I played through this game once, and actually, I am sorry for talking over the intro here, as sick it is, as it is, but I gotta get some info out. I played this game, I played through one run on easy, literally not too long ago, with my made-up character John Rutger, and the comfort of being able to play a game entirely from the keyboard is one of the best things in the goddamn world. So, if you want to know a really base one of Rogue Light versus Rogue Like, put everything on the keyboard and make it turn-based, you got something that's a Rogue Like. Now, I do want to play through. Uh, I do want to play through this. So. Now wait, this isn't my this is not my first time playing through. There is no need for a tutorial. Well actually it may as well be good so you can see what's going on. So check this one out. This is the look of the game. Of course it's running on my computer, so it's gonna be get a bit janky. You move in four cardinal directions, every move takes time, and the amount of time it takes you can see in the lower right hand corner. This step is gonna take a second, but there we go. Guess what? Where you're moving does, where you're facing does not matter in terms of combat, and that's extremely important, and you'll see why. So the position on the grid is what matters. Up at the top, I can see what branch I am, what depth I am, and I have a little mini map right below it. That mini map is probably the way that you would imagine Rogue the game to be if you would see it. So we have our character stats in the bottom left. You can see I am Mark Taggart, a Marine level one with 200 TNL and two next level. Oh, I just love it. So compact. Bunch of health represented by hash marks, bunch of fury represented by hash marks, and a dodge status effect, which I get just from moving and walking. Awesome. So we come in through here. I see the enemy in the top right, and this is the part that I really love about this game. So do you see how we're not doing anything right now? and I can just sit and examine the game as it is, but the next move that I make, everything is going to be calculated in that quote-unquote second. If I need to take my hands off the keyboard and rub them a little bit, if I need to rub my legs to make sure that they don't go completely numb, well, not that they go completely numb anymore, but just to make sure that they don't get to that like numb, painful state, I can do it and like think about and examine the game. It makes long-form playing so enjoyable oh my god I love it so tactical positioning is what matters it's more like chess than like ch uh, I don't want to say more like chess than like checkers because that's weird I want to say it's more like chess than like spelunky if you get my drift so I go over I go over this oh enter to continue I go over this way, he shot me, I can see my health in the lower left hand changed, I got my pain modifier in the lower left hand, and I can see where my cover is as well as what I'm targeting. In the upper right hand corner, uh, yeah, it's saying you're behind cover, know that there's a green indicator to the right of your character, signifying that fact, green is my cover, red is the enemy cover, both appear only if an enemy is targeted. Now, I press F, or enter, press F to fire. 
And then I see him again. F to fire. We're good. I used two bullets. Better reload. Lower right hand corner, I can see my weapon, the number of uh, bullets that I have in the chamber. Not in the chamber, but in the magazine. I don't remember how to. Magazine, clip, th those are different things. And to the right of it, I see my overall. Uh, my overall ammo count. That ammo count is not something realistic, as in I never throw away ammo. So we're going to go down here, we're going to go over this, and just pick it up, press G. Yep. It's yellow, it's of the same. I can press and hold shift to see the comparison between the two. But because I've done a uh, playthrough, I know that. So now, because of this tutorial, you just bump in these things to make them go. So I don't have to press anything to open a door. I don't have to press anything to open a lift. I just bump into it and it works. I open this chest, bam, and I pick up some health. Now, items as medkits not used instantly. There are instant heal items, but medkits are something that go into my, uh, uh, my inventory, just like this. And I can hit enter for that. And we're going to go into the next room. Now, last time I turned this on, it gave me this audio selecting, which was like I could have the default audio, the clean audio, the serious or serious and clean. The guy curses a bunch, and he has kind of funny, like Duke Nukem-esque, but not that campy replies. I love it. So we're going to go to the next room. We're going to shoot him. Wow, that shot really hurt because he has a shotgun, 12 gauge. I have a significant pain modifier. Pain modifiers and red modifiers affect my chance to hit. If you can see up right above this tutorial thing where it says to hit 58% damage 16, that's mine on his. Luckily, I'm a marine and this is where skills and classes come in. I have the adrenaline skill, as long as I have enough fury, my 40 of 40, it heals me a bit, converts a portion of any pain value into health. And uh, there are some things, like in Wildermyth, how they had swift skills or skills that don't take up a turn. This one does not take up a turn. So if I activate fury by pressing by, there we go, pressing 5 to activate the skill, we're all good. And you see adrenaline. Five. I see how many turns I now have. And I can now finish him off. Now, removing his stage for a couple of turns, I can pick up his shotgun. I... Um, gotcha there. You see they both kind of missed me where they were shooting, and then I need to reload all of those actions. I can pause to think about because moving makes me vulnerable to being shot. Shooting, if I sh I always shoot first when it's my turn. And if I do something like that, oh my gosh, shotgun has nice range. But if I need to reload and I'm out of cover, I know that that reload is going to cost me. Might even kill me. So I really like that type of, really like that type of thought process that goes into. You don't want to go into a fight without reloading. As you can also see here, can carry up to three weapons. I can switch between them. Uh, I for inventory and then med kit. Gotcha. Now I've got to follow this along just because. Move to take a better look in. I got hit by another shotgun. But I can individually target if I want to just by using the arrows. T. And then aiming. So I don't need to use the mouse for a single goddamn thing. Hit that, he's done. Boom. Do more than a pistol shot. Have I, a radius of about one to them, depending on the types of barrels. There are different types. So we move into the next room. We open that up, and check this out. It says, yo, you don't seem to have a sure shot on this ugly guy. 67%, not really the best. I can hit the W key to wait, see what he's up to. Bam, look at my fucking to hit. It went up to 100. I love the wait feature. I, you'll use it so much because waiting can cause enemies to move. It's just like this. He didn't move closer, but two things are good. But things are good. Notice you buffs I received. I hunkered down, so I have further decreases my hand, chance to be hit behind cover. And 
I can also aim, which aim 50% ups my to hit. You can have higher than 100% chance to hit based on if you have like a multi-shot weapon. And I can fire right back. After I'm shooting, my buffs are gone, which is another thing I'll come back to. You can only increase their values further by subsequent waiting. But he's almost dead. Look up in the upper right hand corner, we've got that little flashing hash. 59% flashing hash, I know a shot will kill him. I may as well. And now it looks like there's a grenade on the floor. Let's check it out. Uh, interesting thing here. So, someone spotted me. Normally I would have to make a decision between, well, do I need to reload? Do I want to try to take a shot, get into cover, wait? I can just do an instant move effectively holding down shift to show what's on the floor and pressing G immediately uses whatever's below me. We send it this way. Watering the grass. Oh, I love this guy's voice and that was great. Yeah, for the sake of introducing you to the equipment screen, I go to I, I press left or right. I can see what's actually in my inventory. You also see I have things, utility, relic, body, slots, these can all get upgraded as well, and these are just like a little character sheets. Bam. Wonderful. So I hit I again. Oh. Highlight the shotgun and whoop, press D to drop it. They just want me to show that I can drop things that are in my inventory. Cool. Gotcha. So just to show you that I wasn't I wasn't lying, lying about that one. Private FC kills 264, zero wins, one death. I played it for about 2 hours and 13 minutes before this, so it's not new. We're going to do the regular game. I really want to learn how to get up to these, but I'm just going to do another one on easy because the game gets more difficult. We're going to go with Marine and what's our Marine's name going to be? We are going to be, uh, we are going to be Thomas Wilson. I, I don't like the looks of this. My fingers don't lift quite as properly as I want them to anymore. So you see how I have that weirdo Thomas W I L S O N. I really hate that. It makes me so angry. But but we're back from Callisto and we know it's on and. They give me some hints for the first part of the game around here. We'll do that. Easy. Now we'll come through. And the music is always going to be up. I hope it's not too loud now. I'm fine with that and fine with that. I'll wait here for one, fire down, and we're good. See, I only got hit once, and that's because I was like a little bit stupid. But overall, the game can move at quite a little clip. But also, if you don't want it to move, it doesn't have to. I call shotgun. Now, I'm not a big melee fan on this. They just smell too bad. Early on in the game, I'll pick up every single bit of ammo that I can. We'll make sure we're all reloaded. Plus, I want you to pay your attention to the minimap, the upper left-hand corner. We can see that there's a small red dot. Sometimes enemies will be pinged, either when I've seen them, or because I have something that reveals them to me, or because I could quote-unquote hear them at a certain time. I'm pretty sure they get pinged more often on easier levels. But for right now, I am happy to have that be pinged. And then I'll wait for a couple of bits and see if he comes through. Not coming through. See, and there he comes through. I have my hunker and my aim, 95. We hit him with one, Sometimes we hit him with a second, and we're awesome. Oh, last time I aimed for Survivor, which was... By the way, they do they do make a little... Or they told me a hint at one point where they were like, keep your 
level six trait in mind. It's like your ultimate, quote unquote, but you can only have one master trait per character and you can level up that master trait as you get higher in your levels. So I want to aim for, I want to aim for vampire, which means I need Iron Man, Rip and Tear one and then level six. So between Rip and Tear, oh, really? Fury Generations and Fury Becomes Melee Damage Bonus. I'll, I'll take that. We'll go with Iron Man first. And at some point, I won't be speaking as much just because I do like to I do like to pause and think or sometimes just... I hate to say it, but my jaw kind of wears out. It feels really stupid, but it's the, it's the way things are now. So... <laughs> Ah, oh, so I gotta pay attention. Mm. And then I'm gonna feel like this. I like to play a lot of puzzle games, like literally maze games. You would move around, so. Oh, this will be a mess. Mmm. I didn't mention that there are special levels, dark levels, security, uh, security lockdowns. And other things like that. I can hear something far off to the right. And I'm going to switch to a shotgun. We're going to wait, we're going to wait, we're going to wait. We're going to get that guy in there. And then I'm going to switch and fire. Fire, fire. Reload. To reload and then come right through. Oh, it just feels so good to play. Having an SMG early is also nice, and that's going to be our third weapon. It also relies on. Uh, this was one of those things I was mentioning. The multi hit 6x5 versus a guaranteed quote unquote 16. So I could get 18 with a chance that like three of them will miss and I'll get way low, which is why I don't like SMGs too much. Or I can go with the 9mm pistol, and I like I like taking less spray shots. We're going to stay with the pistol on this one. Uh, we're going to pick up some basic armor. Nice, General. And we're going to pick up some basic armor. Nice. Mm. We are going to shotgun this one, though. I'm going to wait a, f uh, wait a few here. And go through. Now, are you locked? That's what I thought. I'm going to switch back to the pistol because I heard something. Hmm. I can't tell how far away they are. I don't know if you can hear that, but every time you hear this little... That's me waiting for a tick. So if I'm ever standing still for too, too long, it's not as long as you think it is. Something just fucking whispered, shivered at me. Okay. And normally I'll wait for about three to five ticks. We found our elevator. Now this is a very sparse floor, but I know we've got to have more stuff coming around here. Oh, little breakdown. Oh, I, a lot of good stuff came up here. Those yellow tanks or zap tanks, they drop... Uh, electric fire on the ground really the red ones as you saw blow up and then the green ones drop uh gas poison gas something might be in here and because it seems like a smallish area i'm gonna go back wait fire and then t on that one come right around here wait one fire fire uh, we're going to reload, wait for them to come outside, if they will. Oh, because they're dead. Never mind. Cool. 92, 53, get fucked. I'm not really one for shooting the... Here we are. Easy pickup. 
for shooting the barrels too much just because if you couldn't tell, I like to be careful. And I always like it's the it's the too good to use syndrome. Nine millimeters stand in uh, packs of stacks of one hundred, so getting at least two hundred makes me feel comfortable. And this right here is a little info station. Jovi Sec, hello system. Ah, uh, unlock vault. Thank you. Sometimes there are special actions you can do, like activating scripts on a level or deactivating, as we can see with like recon and all that, that require these little things that are called multi-tools. Now I'm thinking for a second, because uh, each of the exits that we find can have, oh, now my cat wants to sit in my lap and he can't do that because it hurts. Uh, it sucks. Oh, I might pick him up for a bit. Uh, so each of these paths down can vary off where it says like Callisto Rift L1 versus Mimir Habitat L3 is different from Callisto Mines or just Callisto L3 so there are additional paths that I can take but the way I know what paths to take is if I read the messages so new blood from Kai Jackson to Hamish Kennedy this new guy is completely nuts but he might be useful he did some magic with the terminal in the common area in Callisto L2, and he claims he dug out decontamination controls for Callisto Rift L1. So, this is one of those things that I'm still not entirely sure of. You see how it mentions there's magic that can be done with the terminal, this terminal I'm on right now, in Callisto L2 that gives me decontamination controls for Callisto L1, Callisto Rift L1. I had a, I had a time where they were like, yo, I figured out how, somebody did some magic and they figured out how to shut down the security call on this level. And I had, Ooh, all day. fuck you. And I had a multi-tool available so I was like, hey, I saw the option for activate scripts. I activated it, and it didn't work. So because I see decontamination, I'm really not going to go to Callisto Rift L1. That says poison to me. Okay, work with the machine, Callisto L5. We can run it. It will put Callisto L6 under lockdown. See, now that's good to know. Tomorrow at this time, yeah. So if I, Calixto L6 is going to be on lockdown, hopefully we'll see what that means, but I'm not going to go to it. And make it look like in... Mmm. Okay. So I've got to fix the lift for those. We're probably just going to take our regular... Probably just going to take a regular way through this. Uh, where was... <sighs> And this is why sometimes you don't want to move too fast. I am in pain. I was bleeding. Fuck, man. And those are like the hell spawn that go on here. There's a bunch of different types of them. We'll run into more later. God damn it. This game is so intense when that happens. Hey, now I will actually pick this up. Mm, go here. Come through. Oh, it's a pistol amp. Let's see. Increases long range tracks of pistols of SMGs by one. Pistol speed lower. I thought I would have to put this on. I mean, put it on the gun itself. Bam. So, we've cleared out about half of volatile storage. We could go. What is this, though? Was this. This is just Callisto L3. I don't want to leave this stage right away. Especially because we found something relatively good. There we are. Waited nine times on that. Oh, and he's got a grenade launcher that I certainly 
do not want to go off. So I've got a 64% chance. But at, oh, he's chasing me this time. And then we can T that guy, fire one. Reload, damn it. And that's me not counting. Because I don't like how close they're getting to me. Especially with the shotgun. I'm going to take a weight up to 109. Another weight. Give me that. Uh, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Talking is so much harder with this game. So reload me once. Reload me twice. And we'll exchange for the rocket launcher. Give me that, give me that. See how I was like, I don't really want to work on, I don't want to worry about the barrels. Sometimes it can just be, Callisto Rift 1 is going to be poisonous. We heard about that from before. So, got a nice little opening here. Uh, I may as well switch these out because they're both basics and I don't have to waste a multi-tool on repair. Hit with a hundred, hit with a hundred, wait under cover, wait under cover, wait under cover. It's not going the best, so we're going to do a couple of weights right here, and then shoot him there. Oh, would you believe me if I told you that That's trying to it. talk out what I'm thinking makes me think slower? <laughs> Now I still hear, as we see over there, a bunch of red stuff, which feels like they're going to be fiends. Nope, it's a grunt. It's a grunt. Uh, reload. Wait, 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 wait. Former sergeant. I'm going to shut up for a second. That seems to be the last for now. Okay. Whew. Man, that's rough. Uh, I still have a bunch of levels to hold off on. And I'll have that just because I'm I'm being stupid at the moment, I'm trying to split my attention in an unhelpful way. Give me half a moment. Ah. Oh. Oh. Whew. Okay. So once it turns blue, we know that the entire place has been cleared, and not to say it's a point of pride when you clear the entirety of a floor, but it's a point of pride when you clear the entirety of a floor. So I'm happy to have done it. I want to see if there are any other goods that I missed. And then, that's the elevator that took us down. We are going to go to Callisto L3. Mmm. Cool. So, Reload, reload, reload. Now, by this point, they should be able to enter and open the doors themselves. So we're going to take this one up. Wait, wait, wait. Direct to the right, anything. Wait, wait, wait. That was... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Now, gotcha. Fire fiends can actually fire at me. Not too bad. I'm going to wait for increased chance. Take a 57, take a 100. Uh, reload, wait. Former guard, we're going to wait again. 64 is okay. He's taking his shot, he's not going to move. And then we do a little weight combo on that one. There's another one. Waiting is almost always a great idea. I want him to come in a little bit more. 
So I'm going to back, reload, up, fire. Uh, I'm going to reload. No, 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 no. Sometimes my hand moves. And my fingers don't go where I think they are. Huh. And we're going to wait. 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 And I'm going to take it forward. Now, 211. We're above the threshold. Wait one. Take a fire. Wait one. Take a fire. 86 sounds fantastic. Reload just because we can move to a shotgun. Step in. Wait, wait, wait. And these look like tiny little... Mm, we're not going to take that one. It's already open. And now we've got something good for us. We're fine on ammo in both. Come back. And because of this one, we can fire, took out two. I will reload on that one, take a couple of weights, and then move up. I don't like the look of that at all. Step in one. Wait, wait, wait. Normally you don't want to stand in a place where you can most likely get hit. But this is just a straight up reward room with some ammo. That's fine. I'll take one just because. I hear something that sounds like it might be robotic. So I'm going to start stuttering a bit, uh, stutter stepping. You can't really stutter step in this game, but you can move slightly slower than I want to. Given this range, I'm going to go back to the pistol, because I knew it would. I'm actually going to wait fire, fire, and not switch on that one. I thought I heard something like that. We're going to give one, two, three, four, 109. Uh, reload, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to check this other. And I'm going to switch the shotgun. One, two, three. Switch the pistol, come through. move fire fire fuck I handle these guys so badly because they can shoot me against the wall when I'm there but it just makes me panic you know and panic in this game looks humiliating ah fuck you okay so I'm gonna I'm getting impatient reload shotgun is already reloaded I don't trust my own grenade launcher too much. I'm going to take this one. Really? Wait, fire. Give me the 150% shots. Oh, this is just going atrociously. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm going to be silent for a little bit just so I can... Tense my fingers too. Give me a sec. Mm. Okay. See, it's like I become just a little bit more competent when I focus like that. Mimir Habitat. And that M Mimir Habitat was the one that they said they threw the guy down to make it look like an accident, right? So that was a little bothersome. 
And we know we're still not clear. We got ammo on you, so. Whew, okay. See, those are like little puzzles. I, that's why I love this game so much. And I hope you don't mind. I hope the music is loud enough that you can enjoy it and the sounds because it's just such a great experience. But sometimes you just need to like, I just need to shut up. And that's a 7.63 uh, 7 ammo. Sniper? Hunter rifle. Need this. Mm. Oh, mm. okay. Done. Gotcha. He was behind breakable cover, and he had an SMG, so his shots had such a low chance of hitting me in the first place. Normally, I really like having uh, 7.63s, but I would like—I actually, I'd much rather be than no, as a grenade launcher, like a rifle or something. So I think we're gonna wait until we get to the next. Uh, I think we're gonna wait till we get to the next planet. Or the next overall level to start worrying about that stuff. Ooh, okay. Drop sex. <laughs> Can you tell where my mind is right now? Uh, recon. Were the mines going to be under... What was going to be under lockdown? I think we go to the. I think we go to the habitat. I forget what's going to be in our last round. Job done. Hey, Chief, smart boy, L3, all done. Push the thrust things. Same we did with the machine. Habitat L1. Oh. Never mind. I don't want to go to Habitat L1. Because it's going to go into lockdown. Although I would, I would want to show off what lockdown is and how it works. Uh, Michael, that pool popped up. AV. Hey, he's in mines too? Okay. So yeah, we're going to go to the Callisto hub and then go down to the mines because somebody has good armor down there. We're also going to open that chest that I missed from before. Stop. Years of... I didn't miss it. Ugh. Years of RPG Maker. Avoidance games. I did play a lot of those, too. Uh, yeah. Give me this. Ah. Uh, reload. 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 Okay. I'm iffy about this hallway. For a number of reasons. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Mm! Fucking knew it. Okay. I am going to shut up for a sec. Shit. Cool. Oh, 
Oh, okay. So now we're really dealing with security bots and shit. And as you can tell, everybody kind of reacts to what you do. So it's not uncommon to see a hallway like this open up and either a bunch of fiends come out or a bunch of security bots come out or drones come out. Or worse yet, the thing I call the Jumbotron comes out. We're sure enough to see that at one point. Reload me, reload me. The grenade launcher came in a little bit of help there. And what the security bot did right there, when it looked like it exploded and then had all that smoke, they release smoke grenades once they get hit about once or twice. That masks their specific location. They become untargetable, much in the same way that you do when you release a smoke grenade. Plus, as you now see... They're dropping 7.62 ammo. 7.62, 7.63. So doing that little dance and then waiting for a higher percent chance to hit, especially while all on adrenaline, was worth it. That was not because I was talking and being stupid. Okay, calm down. Last med kit, but I bet you we're going to start running into... Our chance to hit is such shit with this weapon. God damn it. Okay. I want to get back up to around 200. Oh, I'm on the shotgun. We're at 259. Never mind. Give. got a multi-tool. By the way, what's our 8 out of 12? we got 4 more until things become annoying. Okay. I waited 10 times. We're going to take him by this entrance. Hear something over there. We're gonna take him by this entrance. Okay. Mm, I knew it. Gotcha. Okay. Easy, easy. Haven't used the grenade launcher again. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna take the advantage of this. By the way, you, if you couldn't tell, you can't close doors behind you, so there's none of, there's none of this like. Huh. Take it. Oh, that doesn't cost a multi-tool. That's sick. Uh. See, there's one Calsec bot left. I don't need to reveal the map. And bulk mod pack on L5. Awesome. I'm not going to read too much of the flavor text on this one because I really do want to get to the next world. Uh, 
Uh, and I don't know what these red key cards do. I have no clue. I'm going to come right through this one. We're going to pick up our basic armor. I'm going to pick up one just because. But from what I've seen in the game, at least on easy, they haven't unlocked anything. We're going to check this hallway for a bit. We're going to go shotgun on one of these top entrances. I think right here. Okay, 10 weights, nothing. They didn't pop out of here haphazardly. Ah, oh, I knew it! Luckily enough, though... Wait, wait. I thought... Mm, I did get both of them, but not as well as I wanted to. And he's got a hunter rifle, but nobody... <gasps> oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Please just. I I don't have I did not have any better options. A shotgun doesn't give me better damage against calcic bots. Fuck that thing is terrifying. And you see there is a or gonna pop adrenaline because we can. Even though I should have been in more pain. There is a red dot back there that I'm gonna just. Okay, it's, it's, mm, 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 give me a sec. Where the fuck is it going? It's acting like a drone, but there are no drones on this level. Shotgun this door. Otherwise, we would have seen them by security. This is what I was talking about when I meant the station. I will take... That's better. Normally, I would actually go for uh, charge a multi-tool, take a stim pack. But we'll just go with a regular med pack on that one. What are you looking at? 10 out of 12. Cool. Hmm... Pistol this. Normally, sometimes making noise like that will cause them to come down the hallway. Ah, uh, it's pissing me off right now. Uh, we're not going to go up this hallway towards it. That's just so much open space. But I'm pretty sure this was going to be the last one on. Speaking of, um, not enough things are dropping this ammo, though. Alright. So we can try taking you from... Rinse. Repeat. Thank you. Oh. Ugly. Ugly game. Uh, why can I never remember where I want to go? Callisto Hub 2, the mines, we're looking for like mine level 2 or 3. In order to pick up the armor that that guy had. Reload, reload, reload. Gotcha. Now, somebody better have reliable... Uh, I didn't mean that second step. I'll take it, I'll take it. Mmm, wrong aim.
Well, a lot of people have been dropping 44s, which are uh, 24 impact instead of 16. Same actual, uh, same slightly as lower range, but a bunch of other things like critical, crit damage, reload time, magazines. I'm not going to go with it right now. Okay, bad positioning, and because I'm bleeding, I'm just going to take a little more damage. This sucks. I don't have enough of that. This is where I'll actually drop a you, me, this, as it. I'm going to be very silent yes, for a little I bit here and not be as stupid as before. Okay, so I'm going to pause here for a second. There is... I'm, I'm going to wait here for a second. I hear sounds on both my left and my right. The thing that's throwing me off so badly about this right now is... I don't have a mouse pointer. Those gaps. I keep on thinking that those gaps are walls that I'm going to get cover off of. So when I see somebody... When I see, like two or three of them run over from a side, I'm like, oh, I can just move right here. I'll get cover, wait once, have a higher chance. Those gaps, they can see me and shoot me over. And all of my, all of my defense right now is actually to the opposite side. You can even see on the mini-map, they make it really clear what's a gap and what isn't. I have to admit, it's my first time playing through this route, this map, so... That's throwing me off a bunch, and I want to put... Ooh, fuck you. I do. I want to put myself into a place where I know I've got some tactical advantages, and the center of this mind map is not it. So I want to move back to the edges on a way that I know is safe. Ish. So actually, weirdly enough, I'm going to be back this... See? Because now... Oh, excuse me? Oh, he's a grenadier. Fuck. Floor is empty. Hit the wrong button. Should have been 11. I'm dead. Not dead. It's not that easy to kill me. Why be so negative? I'm going to make it through. I should have had more pain on. That's fine. 
I haven't used this grenade launcher at all to be helpful to remind myself that I have that. Eleven. Something is over there to my lower left. Get angle. Get somewhat of an angle. No, I misheard. Now, okay. Yeah, I misheard. Okay. Mm, I didn't miss here. The shot, though, sucks. And not to say that theirs is any better, because it isn't. Ten, eleven. Better pistol. Uh. Yeah, impact pistol. Nine by. Oh, oh, combat is nine by two. Eighteen. Swap time fifty. I'll take it. Never used one of these before. Reload me. One. Two. Ten. I still hear something over here that's bothering me. Ten. It's right close. We're actually going to... Oh, wait. Did I drop my... Okay. That was a mistake. It's over to my right. 10, 11. I'm going to say it's in there. Okay, we're going to go back and check this. Very quick. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Did I drop my... Stop that. No, I didn't. Okay. I'll keep these sides. I hate you. mind I do take this side uh, pistol there's multiples over here stay cover ten mm! every fucking time every Not every time. Ah, shit. Okay. I need to actively target. And then I need to like stop that. I need to auto target again. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh. Sustain one. Uh, I'm bleeding. What? There's a former grunt in there. Legitimately did not see this guy. Need to reload. Okay, weight fire combos work every time. Eleven. 
I think they're kind of far. I see a, a pack of them over there that are kind of far. Oh. I just need to floor fire more often. Sometimes it's not as... I need to shut up for a sec. It's not as efficient sometimes. But it helped. It kept me alive right there. Oh. Let's take a look at us. We're a good beyond good. Give. Give. Reload. I'm not a fan of this multi pistol. Um, how can we approach this? So there's a lot of gaps that I'm not comfy with. So we're actually gonna lead with that. Eleven weights, they did nothing. We are going to do you this time. I was hoping to get both, did not. Watering the grass. Thank God. This map was tough as shit. Oh my god. What a bother. Fun, but what a bother. Oh my god. Whoo! Oh. So, let's take a look at this. Uh one stim pack, not too many grenades, so I want to be able to pick up those before I leave. Uh, reload, reload. I know there's nothing else here, but. make like soft mechanical keyboards because I like this one I don't have to lift my fingers too much to be able to do shit like this but also I like to have a little click clack soft-esque or soft-ish oh okay so things to remember floor firing is wonderful use environmental explosions much more often and for the love of god don't rush and start talking when I'm in a firefight because I do so much worse with it. Uh, it was over. Wait, what are you? Stop. You show up as green? I thought you were sure it was red. Okay, so our mine out of here he is right there. Let's go. Mmm. I don't know what this means. I don't know what infestation means. But at one point when I was a dark level, it was like you're going to get eaten by a drag. So. Oh, plus poison stuff. But out of enemies. <sighs> Give me a sec. Oh. Do you ever do that thing where your body, like, just all of a sudden shivers for some reason? It's not because you're cold or anything, but, like, there's just this wave of sensation that goes out. I used to love getting that, but now it normally means that something's, like, caught in my fucking back. Oh, so I gotta look really weird, and I gotta move my shoulders up, and I gotta, like, circle my chest to be able to get it to crack. It sucks. Holy hell. Okay. I can leave right away. But Mmm. Good. 
Gotcha. Now that I'm using the regular 9mm pistol and getting the over 100% chance to hit, I don't know what that percent chance being more. Or maybe it's a chance to crit. Okay. This music is sick, by the way. I'll fire and move. Wait! It was in front of me! Shit, I'm blind. Okay, no. Okay. Okay. I don't know why I could not see that one in front of me. Um. This is bad. Five. Five. Fine. Mm hmm. <laughs> I can't tell what direction they're going to come from. I don't hear anything. Not that. I hear it. Five, I got you! Don't. That's terrible. It's a regular fiend though, so I may as well stop that. Wait. Reload. Five. I hear a second one. Uh. Three. Three. Five. I hear n much more of them. How many are on this? I think infestation just means there are a ton of these. It's closer. One. There are two of them. Five. 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 Five, two, five, there we are. Oh, I'm not shooting at anything. There's another one. Five. Or they're on both sides. Five. Five. Three. This is going to be a hell of a fight. Mmm. Awesome. So, uh, exalted themes, exalted things are like the ultimate versions. They move so fast. All fiends do that, though. Did 
to reload. By the way, is that a, is that a great grenade launcher? I don't know. Reload, reload. Holding on to it. Five. Magrail rifle. See, now these things, I love rifles. They're so cool. <sighs> Scope 50 pierce. What's the... If it's a rifle, though, it's 7.62. Yeah. Nothing out here has really been dropping that ammo, though. So as much as I'd love to just hold on to it. Something's on the other side. Two at least on the other side. I'm going to make a round. Five. Five. Gotcha. Five. Five. They're really not in a good position. For me. I thought they saw me. There we are. I didn't even hit the place I was looking for. Oh, I did! Nice! Oh, okay. One, that went so much better than it was at the beginning because I understood what was going on like halfway through. Oh, and I could have... See, but now that, now that the danger is gone, these things are somewhat more... Rockets? Valuable to me. Not necessarily the health, because all of that, like, the additional 47 goes away. We got some 40 millimeter snubs right there. Or 44 snub. Lock and load. And... Ooh! Ooh! Expendable system. But it does 60. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah. And AV2 basic. Wonderful. That was fucking sick. What a great, what a great room. Uh, where do we want to go after this? Because you took me down, right? Bang, bang. No, you're of a hollow spaceport, which would be going to the next one. I want to take a chance here and go to this anomaly. Because I've never the been... silence here is getting under my skin. Okay. He said this before. Oh, it has 20. Wait, what am I firing with this thing? Hold, hold on. Did I just screw myself? Oh, this weapon cannot be reloaded. That sucks. Okay, so we're going to have to find another launcher at some point. This is creeping the fuck out of me. I want to keep my damn things all loaded. Oh, that one can't. So, yeah. Remember what I was saying about special levels? You're looking at one of them. And I don't know what the fuck. Because he said that before, but it looked nothing like this. It wasn't labeled an anomaly. Or no, he said something like the evil in this, but what did he say before? Okay, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, uh, ha, huh, ha. Huh. Should I be comfortable enough to be speaking right now? I don't know. But what I do know is that I don't want to be right in the center right away. Oh, God. 
This game is scary as fuck. <laughs> like, not... It's unsettling as fuck. Let me put it that way. It's not scary, per se. AB2 Marine Helmet. Filtered Auto Repair. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> okay, so there's a demon in here that uses rocket launcher. And I think it either shot at me or something. Oh, that legitimately scared the fuck out of me. Oh my god. Oh, no, something is placing down those, those marks. Ooh, now this is something that I saw on the last level. So those are just spawners. We're going to get out. Oh, no, fuck. <laughs> well, that was embarrassing. Holy fuck. What a stupid death. See what I mean? I, sh I should not have been talking at all here. I got some sick shit. It looked like things were going my way, and then I literally, like, quadruple tapped against a fucking demon that was levels above me. Shit. But that was cool. Oh, fuck. I survived for 3,745 turns. This out run was one hour, four minutes, and seven seconds. I scored? Oh, I never saw that I scored points. Ooh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. See, this is what I mean. My action. My 96 health. I get done 17. I do one move, one move, and another one. Down a negative 6. Shit, that was stupid as fuck. Uh, volatile storage... Mines. Uh, so there were three enemies that spawned on those spawners. And I'm not sure if this was even a place that I could have like stayed around. Or if they just would have spawned infinitely. Woo! Ugh, what a nice run. Damn. That was great. Okay. And... That's going to do it. For this episode of Jupiter Hell, it's very different from Wildermyth. It's actually like a lot more comfortable to play. Sitting here for an hour and only having like my my hand. The thing is, the most uncomfortable thing that happens is when my hands get like these shooting pains and I have to legit stop for like five or ten minutes. Or my legs, which I could just take care of. But only had like a couple of things happen in my hands that were uncomfortable at the start just a little bit of a mess with my spine in a couple of places but other than that I felt really good so I'm gonna be playing this game a lot more and I don't know if it's a game that I can stream just because I'm using OBS and I don't know how to see my chat so I need to set that one up but if I could stream like this is a game I could stream so I, I'm just talking and rambling. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to more. Plus, I hope you don't mind when I go a bit silent, because as you can see, talking in this game gets me fucking killed. But it's so much fun. It's so much fun. But no matter who, where, or how, thank you.